narcissist abuse creates suffering that overwhelms one's ability to experience love. A whole class of wounds that cripple our ability to experience love. A tragedy too heavy for us. It happens in the past, but asserts itself over and over in the present. Love is a building block of some of our deepest relationships and a component in many of our happiest days. Yet the ability to freely give and receive love is a fragile skill which traumatic experiences can all too easily dent or damage. Narcissist abuse takes time to heal as it happened over a long period of time but don't get discouraged. It takes time, courage and responsibility to you to break the abuse cycle in your life so that you can stop engaging in toxic relationships, destroying your peace and devaluing your self-worth. Part of learning how to love again is learning how to interact with trustworthy people who express kindness, care, concern, nurture and attention. Because you have experienced narcissist abuse, you have learned that people are capable of great cruelty. To avoid experiencing cruelty again, a part of your mind may have decided to ensure that you will never be hurt again. One of the ways that your mind tries to protect you from future cruelty is to assume that people are dangerous. This assumption, in turn, results in you leaning towards mistrust, avoiding vulnerability, and shying away from emotional intimacy. When you can identify with a part of you that is divinely connected to God, you gain the desire, the urge and the will to reconnect with others in your life that serve as a reminder of just how great and wonderful you are as a person. When healing occurs through the mining of self-respect, learning to love again will not just be a transitory notion blocked by your past pain, but an open pathway to your own healing and ability to experience love. Start showing love to yourself and stop accepting less from others. Learning to love again is a journey that helps you to reshape and build every relationship. This journey helps you to reflect on your newfound inspiration to share love, not as a conditional emotional need for validation, but as an infinite expression of the life force within you that gives you energy and the motivation to be you. Whom you choose to have a close romantic relationship with is important, but that choice is just one part of your love life. Learning to relate to all of your loved ones with a renewed vigor is essential in the journey to love again and heal from the abuse. God bless you. Please remember, truth is freedom.